right, thanks for joining us today. We're now uh, with Ricky Thomas, another new addition to this Wolfpack coaching staff. And Ricky, you come to us most recently from Georgia State, but, but the extent of your coaching career has been in the NFL, 15 seasons uh, with the Indianapolis Colts and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, talk a little bit about that experience as an NFL coach and, and uh, what you learned there and, and kind of how you kind of translate that level of football to, to Nevada. Well, I tell you, it's uh, truly a blessing to be uh, here in Reno. Uh, my uh, experience in the NFL, uh, having been blessed, having an opportunity to coach 15 years, had the opportunity to work with some great minds in football. And the thing that I take away from that experience is that uh, it's still an opportunity to teach. Uh, football is football no matter what level. And uh, when you get guys working together uh, as a team, you can accomplish much. And uh, last year was my first year returning back to college after a 15-year hiatus. And uh, it's a tremendous opportunity uh, to come back to the college game because you have an opportunity to build relationships with kids. And uh, that's something that means a lot to me. Uh, my wife and I have a son that uh, will be a junior in high school in the fall. And uh, this is a tremendous opportunity for him to see what transpires on the college level and to see that uh, education is uh, first and foremost. Let's talk a little bit, about, little bit more about your background. Uh, you played at one of the traditional powerhouses of college football at Alabama, recruited by uh, Coach Bryant, and played for Ray Perkins there. Talk about that experience playing, playing at Alabama. It was a tremendous experience. Uh, I committed to go to University of Alabama under Coach Bryant, and uh, a lot of things that I still use today as a coach and as a person, um, those things were instilled uh, in me in terms of doing things the right way, having class, uh, being fundamentally sound, um, being able to finish things in terms of uh, my education, and um, just being involved in the community. So I've tried to uh, relay that and convey that to uh, players in, in every environment that I've uh, been in since then. You, uh, this is your first year at Nevada, but you, but you certainly have a connection to this university. Uh, when you were at the Indianapolis Colts, uh, uh, drafted James Canada, one of the all-time great defensive linemen here. Talk a little bit about James and, and the player he was for you in the NFL. James, uh, outstanding young man. Uh, we drafted him um, in Tampa, and he came in and did an outstanding job for us as a, as a defensive lineman. Uh, the things that we liked about James uh, is he was outstanding in the community in terms of community involvement. He knew how to finish things. He had a history of finishing things. He finished his degree. Um, he and his uh, wife, who also played basketball here, um, was uh, tremendous in terms of uh, their leadership, uh, not only with the team, but on the community as well. So uh, he was a great player for us. You've, uh, during the bulk of your coaching career, you've, you've worked on, all, on both sides of the ball at a lot of different positions, and you're going to be coaching cornerbacks here at the University of Nevada. But talk about how that's, uh, that experience coaching you know, running backs or tight ends or the defensive front, how, how does that translate into, into kind of helping you coach one, one position? Well, I think what, what, uh, what it really helps is you really have to sit down and really uh, teach uh, fundamentals and techniques. Uh, the thing that um, I can convey is having been on the other side of the ball is um, I know what uh, those guys are being taught. And um, I think I can give a few tips from an experience standpoint uh, to help get our guys in position uh, to make plays and uh, affect the outcome uh, in our favor. This is the first time you've really been out west. Uh, what's been your experience so far in Reno and, and how the community in Northern Nevada has kind of welcomed you? I tell you, um, it's tremendous to be out here because it's a fresh start. Um, I view the community as one that's uh, well-informed, uh, very friendly, and very supportive. And uh, as we move forward, I look forward to uh, becoming more active uh, in the community uh, when time permits. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the cornerbacks. Uh, you got you got some um, a little bit of experience to work with. Uh, Marcus Smith played a little bit last year. Evan Evan Favors has played a little bit. What do you see out of the corners that you have moving into the 2013 season? It's a uh, um, we have two guys that have some experience um, in terms of playing, as you just mentioned. Um, we've got to make a difference in the back end in terms of being able to turn the ball over, interceptions, causing fumbles, uh, what have you. Uh, it's a good group in terms of uh, smart. A uh, smart group, uh, a couple of those young men uh, have uh, made the Mountain West uh, academic all-selection teams, which is outstanding. We look for smart guys, we look for tough guys, and we look for guys who can uh, make plays. And uh, 
certainly the group that I'm working with uh, right now uh, have those attributes, and uh, we're looking forward to contributing uh, to a defense that uh, is uh, recognized not only in the Mountain West but nationally as well. And you've got some, some young guys coming in in terms of the guys that were signed here in February joining us in the fall that, that I know that we're all excited about, some, 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 some uh, recruiting prospects uh, very highly touted. Yes, we do. Uh, we have uh, th three young men who have a tremendous opportunity uh, to come in and contribute immediately. And um, our job is just to make sure that they can uh, get acclimated to what's being asked of them uh, here in this college environment. Uh, they've been successful. Um, at the high school level in terms of being able to take care of the academics and being uh, solid citizens. And I, obviously we, we like what they bring to the table as football players. And uh, they'll be in this weekend uh, for the spring game and uh, we look forward to getting to know them a little bit more and uh, preparing them to make a big contribution this fall. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us today. We sure appreciate it. Hey, thank you.